Alrighty then, I decided to take the day off. Uh, I had some vacation days left to burn. And I'm thinking it's 48 degrees this morning. And I'm thinking it's gonna just get colder. And it's a good time to get some work done, especially <coughs> painting work on that building. Oh look, there the geese are flying. They just went over that tree there, formation of geese. Now, that's a sign. That's a sign that uh, winter's coming. By the way, there's a truck for sale right here with a 454 in it. It's a four-wheel drive, dual rear axle with a dump body. I could get it pretty cheap. I don't really need that much truck, but I, <laughs> part of me kind of like to have a motor out of it, but I don't know. I don't need to be buying anything else. What was I talking about? Um, oh, I was just saying I took a day off because when it gets much colder, it's not going to be good painting the weather. So I took a day off. I'm going to get another five gallons of that stain and do the side of that building. And while I'm there, I'm going to pick up about 20 bags of cement and uh, I figure it's 80 pounds of bag, 20 bags of it is 1,600 pounds. That's a little under, uh, that's about three quarters of a ton. I could put more on the trunk, but uh, I don't necessarily need to. And besides, I'd, I'd rather not have more on hand because you have to keep it dry, you know. You get it wet and you got problems with cement. So I figure I get about 20 bags at a time. I probably can do that whole foundation, I'm thinking, with about 40 bags. But I thought I'd get 20 see how far that gets me and then recalculate and go back and get some more it's a nice morning it's a little bit cloudy but it's cool and i don't mind that it's a good day for working yeah there and we'll go see what happens okay okay by the way i got my long pants on so i don't have to look at my legs i'm just saying i know how sensitive some of y'all are i don't know what happened but it seemed to me like they started making them 80 pound bags of seem that heavier than they used to be Dang, I say. Let's go home and do some painting while I think about what comes next. Okay? Okay. Okay. Alrighty then, the first thing on my list is to paint this side of the building. Uh, and I'm going to start by masking off this part up front that I've got painted white. Because I don't want it to get painted. So. I'll probably get me some cardboard and just run it all the way up that white strip and that way I can just start spraying from here and work my way down. I will probably unhook this fence and just lay it over. Charlie's not here. Him and Honey Baby's gone back down to the Cape, so I can just lay this fence down while I'm doing the painting and then I can stand it back up later. I'm going to be moving it eventually anyway because when I pour my concrete under the footing of this building, then I'm going to move the fence so that it doesn't run along the edge of it. So. I got some cardboard up in the attic there. I'll get that out and uh, we'll bring it along over here and I don't know if I'll shoot staples into it or how I'll hang it up there, but we'll see. Just think about stapling or even gluing some cardboard along that edge, but I bought some of this blue tape, thick stuff, and I got a bunch of paper from a, I got a box up there that I bought a couple of front fenders for that Toyota and uh, that paper was in it. I was thinking, well, you know, if I can run a tape down that edge and stick that paper to it, stretch it over there good enough, it might, that might be the truck, the truck, the trick, right there, so. 